is a thin bone placed on the posterolateral aspect of the thoracic gauge. Three borders, three angles, and three crosses. general features. The costal surface or subscapular fossa is concave and is directed medially and forwards. It is marked by the three longitudinal ridges. Another thick ridge adjoins the lateral border this part of the board is almost rhotic. It acts as a lever of action of the certus anterior in overhead abduction of the arm. The dorsal surface. The costal surface is having subscapular fossa and the ridges. Dorsal surfaces have supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. The two fossas are divided by the spinous process in dorsal surface of the scapula. Connected by the spinoclinal knots of the lateral to the root of the spine. This is spinoclinal knots. Let's we see the borders of scapula. The scapula have three borders. The medial border the lateral border and superior border. The superior border is thin and sharp. Near to the root of coracoid process, it presents the suprascapular notch. This is suprascapular notch in superior border. The superior border of scapula have suprascapular notch. Next, the lateral border. The lateral border is thick. At the upper end, it presents the infraclinite tubercle. This is infraclinite tubercle. Infraclinite tubercle of scapula in later border. 
the medial border is thin it extends from the superior angle to the inferior angle it extends to the superior angle to inferior angle this is superior angle inferior angle it extends the medial border Scapula have three angles. What are the the superior angle? The superior angle is covered by the trapezius. This is superior angle of scapula. The inferior angle. The inferior angle is covered by the latissimus torsi. It moves forward round the chest when the arm is abducted. When the arm is abducted, the latissimus torsi is to the work in the inferior angle of scapula. Next. The lateral or clinoid angle. This is lateral or clinoid angle. Is broad and bears the clinoid cavity or fossa. This is clinoid cavity or clinoid fossa. It bears the humerus bone. Next, which is directed forwards, laterally and slightly upwards. Laterally, slightly upwards. Let's we see the process of scapula. The scapula have three process. What are that? The spina spinous process is the triangular plate of bone with three borders and two surfaces. It divides the dorsal surface of the scapula into supraspinous and infraspinous fossa. The posterior border is called the crust of the spine. The crust has upper and lower edges. This is spinous process. Superior and inferior and the facet of the clavicle. The facet of clavicle is acromion process. The acromion process is give articulates to the acromion end of the clavicle. The coracoid process is directed forwards and slightly late. This is coracoid process. Directly forwards and slightly late. It have three process. The spinous process, a cumian process, and coracoid process. Next, the side determination. of this plan. How to find side determination of scapula? The lateral or clinoid angle is large and bears the clinoid cavity. The clinoid angle is bears the clinoid cavity in lateral border of the scapula. The first point to our memory. The clinoid angle bears the clinoid cavity. Its lateral is convex. This is concave, convex, dorsal surface and divided by the triangular spine. Triangular spine. 
into the supraspinous and infraspinous fossa. The costal surface is concave to fit under convex chest wall. This is convex, concave. The convex tarsal surface has spinous process, supraspinous and infraspinous process. The below. In lateral border. That means this bonus belongs to lip side. 